Oh, hi. I'm Mark from Rapid Fire Theater. And I'm here to talk about improv. And I'm a giant bird of prey. Okay, so today we're going to talk about characters. There's two types of characters. Static characters and dynamic characters. Static characters don't change. They make good support characters, ones that enhance the scene. Dynamic characters, on the other hand, are characters that change. It's these dynamic characters that you'll want to focus the story on. A story is not a story unless something changes. And having a protagonist that changes is one of the most effective ways of telling a story. Did you know owls are unable to move their eyes within their sockets to a great extent? Which means they must turn their entire head to see in a different direction. So, how do you create a character? There's a couple different ways of going about it. One, get physical. Change the way you move physically. Change your walk, your posture. Play with the speed of your movements. Take up more or less space. These are all effective ways of creating a character. Owls come in many shapes and sizes. Some are big and some are small. Some live in holes and can't even fly. <laughs> what idiots! Also, not all owls can hoot. Other sounds owls might make include screeches, hisses, and screams. For example... <clears throat> A second way you can create a character is to change your voice. Make a vocal choice. You can change the pitch, the tone, the volume, the accent, or any other number of qualities of your voice in order to create a character. For example, if I wanted to become an aristocratic owl, all I need to do is change the way I speak. And voila! Suddenly I'm Lord Abyssinicus III, wealthy industrialist and man about town. A third way of informing your character is through imitation. Choose someone you know, or even someone you don't know, like a random celebrity, and using them as inspiration for your characters can be very useful. But if you're going to play like someone like Jack Nicholson, for example, you're not actually Jack Nicholson in the scene, you're just using him as inspiration, and it's a way to help you change the way you act. Informing your characters with your real life can also be very effective. If you have to play a mom in a scene, play your mom. That way it'll be more detailed, and ultimately, better. <laughs> Your mom. Some owls are active at night. A few species, such as the pygmy owl... All right, all right. I'm going to have to stop you there. What are you doing? Who? You. Who? Don't play dumb with me. I'm talking about you. Who? Who? So, how do you play a character well? The answer is commitment. Truly accept and respect the environment and reality in which the scene is taking place in. Keep it real. This means your character should respond appropriately to the offers being thrown at it during the scene. Try to avoid playing characters that are crazy or on drugs or compulsive liars. Also, allow your character to be affected by what's happening. It's hard to have a good scene with a character who doesn't care about anything. Welcome to my office, Mr. Bunbury. I'm afraid I have some terrible news for you. What is it, Mr. Tossable? You're fired, Mr. Bunbury. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope you realize this means that your family will be living on the streets, Mr. Bunbury. Oh, well. Yes. Well, oh, Okay, then. Yikes, that was rough. And remember, characters with pre-existing relationships to the other characters in the scene is usually more effective than if they are strangers. Also, name your characters. Also, I eat mice and poo their bones out. Refreshing. Play with contrast in your scene. Don't have too many characters that are extremely similar. If you've got two characters that are opposites, it's a lot more interesting to watch than two characters that are almost the same. 
Also, there's a wealth of story and comedy and status. Well, that's about all the time we have for today. Mark, wait. There's something I need to tell you. I have a confession. What is it? I'm not actually an owl. Huh? I've been playing a character.